Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to talk about the Mafex Into the Spider-Verse Miles Morales Spider-Man. This has been something that's been a long time coming after being delayed, so forth and so forth and whatever. It's been delayed for God knows how long. It's gone on almost, what, a year and a half, two years, whatever. And uh, Sentinel has announced theirs. I know a ton of people have asked about that. But in reality, you just got to wait for it to come out. You can't compare the two until the two come out for all you comparison people who only care about that. Now we're going to talk about what's in front of us. And today we're going to talk about the Mafex Miles. Um, there are things that I love about this figure because I absolutely adored this movie. I'm a big Miles Morales fan. So it's just one of those things where I, I took the L on some stuff. Whereas a lot of it is done really well. So uh, let's jump to it. First we have our look. This is our look that we get directly out of the box. This is Miles Morales pretty much featured with his in-training clothing on before he becomes a full-fledged Spider-Man. <clears throat> if you haven't seen the movie by now, by the time this goes up, it'll be leaving Netflix, but hopefully you can rent it or buy it someplace else. So yeah. One really good thing that I'm going to talk about is the head sculpt is done really well to the point where it looks exactly like he would in his animated style from this movie. Jacket seems a little too big, but that allows for all the articulation that is still actually really still built into this, which is fantastic. I just wish Mafex did a little better designing the colorway on the jacket. I think it's a little too bright, a little too metallic, and a little too big. But overall, we still have a winner. Their soft goods need some work on such a tiny body. But I'm, I am I want to feel bad for them because this is a brand new, really small body that they had to work on. And when I get to the size comparison, you'll see exactly what it is I'm talking about. So let's talk about the movement and our look on this version of the body because we're gonna swap it out with some part swapping which will be done a lot during this video. Our head articulation isn't hindered at all, even with the hoodie on. Hoodie allows for still room and movement. It does not zip up. Even though there is technically a zipper here, there is no zipper point to zip it up. So there will be no zipping up your jacket. Movement in your arms with the jacket, totally fine going outward and totally fine lifting up. So let's see, yep. Totally fine lifting up, but oh, we popped out a ball joint. So I must've got stuck in there somewhere. That means I didn't rotate all the way around, but it's kind of a good thing that I like is that you don't have to worry about breaking anything. If a ball joint pops out, you could pop it right back in and it still allows for movement. So because I can't see what's going on, that's probably why I popped it out. <clears throat> As you can see, our torso is very thin. Our body itself is really thin. Now. I, someone said something to me and it was wild because I was like, they were like, it's too skinny. And I was like, hold up, let me check my art book because I really, really enjoyed this book. And I got the art book. I went and dug my art book out, which I have on display somewhere. And if you look here in the art book, Moz is indeed very much this skinny. So I believe Mafex was intending to match these character designs of the thinness. It is the design of the book and it's just something that, uh, I feel like it needs to be matched, then it's there. I think the authenticity of this is really, really nice. If you are wondering, you should go out and buy this book. I really love the art in it. The Art of the Mouth Morales Into the Spider-Verse book. Definitely get it. Um, it's well worth having and enjoying. Now, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take off the jacket and then we're gonna talk about what Miles looks like, what he has going on under the hood. <clears throat> So we're going to start off with the upper torso. We're just going to slide our jacket off, as you can see here. We're going to pop our fist back on. And now you'll see upper torso wise, yes, it is really thin, but it does match the entire character design of what we have pretty much going on with Miles throughout the movie. He is what, 12 or 13 at this point? He's not even like a actual full fledged teen yet. So he's 12 or 13. The head sculpt looks really good, moves really well. We can still go up and go down. Our arms have, it's crazy how they still were able to add a butterfly joint here. So it allows you to move your arms forward. You get rotation here in the arms. You can actually go backwards as well, right? We are double jointed. Like I said, we can lift our arm all the way up because I couldn't see what the hell was going on. That's probably why I popped it out. And my joints are tight, no real funkiness. And you still have a full rotating ball joint. As you can see, tiny, tiny pegs. So a ball joint, though, it's really hard to see where I'm going with that. 
<laughs> so I have to look at it in the reflection of light. Our mid torso section rotates around. Like he can, he can like hit the soul train line and like, woo! But <laughs> if you're not into that, just ignore that part. We can actually don't have too much ab crunch going forwards. We have movement going backwards there. And our legs are hindered in the shorts area because with the shorts on, you're not gonna get much movement. I'm gonna pop this off. And yes, I did do that very easily. That is because it pretty much allows you to do it very easily because you'll be doing part swapping. Again, when you wanna take off the pants or anything like that or just allow anything to move around. Oh, and for those of you, I'm assuming before they announced the Michael Jordan, they could not get the license to use the actual Jordans from the movie. I'm assuming that would have cost their license even more. So no, he does not have the actual Jordans. These are gonna be replicas without the check to a close enough design that they can use. Pretty much everything else is pretty accurate though. So there's uh, that, uh, ah, I forgot what that's called. But yeah, that's there to hold the shorts together. Then we're gonna slide down. And now we have our super thin body that no one expected, even though they saw photos of it a million, million times. I'm guessing because you didn't see it in person uh, or against anything else other than the white background, you couldn't tell how it was. And that's pretty cool because all people just forgot. But yeah, this is Miles without his mask on. Teen body design. Let's get some actual feet on here and not the sneaker one. So here's our normal feet, our spooter feet. And this review is going to be a little different, obviously, because there's a lot to cover. And as you can see, articulation wise, this model is thin, but still possesses a lot of the regular movement. Pretty much any other Mafix you get that has really good articulation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this neck out. I'm actually going to have some trouble with that because, again, place some lotion on my hands. I played myself and we're going to pop on our regular head. Apply a little force here. I'm having some trouble. There we go. Let's rotate that neck around. And now we have our full body miles. What are we like? Seven minutes in and it took me forever to do that. <laughs> so let's actually rotate this head around. Wait, have it the wrong way. Nope. This is the right way, but we have to rotate the peg around. And pop our head back on. That way we have our best angle of rotation for movement. So as you can see here, the ab crunch is absolutely gonna be the biggest problem. You won't be able to crunch completely forward, but it will keep it from breaking. So when you do crunch too far forward, it just pops right out at the pegment. The peg, not pegment, sorry. But yeah, otherwise the rest of your articulation is pretty tight. My leg joint is actually really, really tight to the point where I'm a little worried, but pretty sure after I review it, I'll be fine with some silicone shock oil. Right. So movement wise, I know I'm just doing a lot of movement with this guy, but I want to make sure I test everything, make sure all the joints are right and look good. But yeah, I, I can't state this enough that this Miles looks fantastic. It is definitely movie accurate. It is definitely very thin. But again, these are the designs that we actually got movie wise. Now, can he hit all of those poses is a different story. But with these new butterfly joints that actually tuck all the way in, I'm pretty sure you'll be hitting a ton of movement. I think the biggest graph that I have personally is that while one of my legs go completely up with no problem, I may have some excess plastic on my left leg that is messing me up, not allowing this leg to go all the way forward. Luckily, I do have more than one. So yeah, but I can't front, <laughs> like I really like the look of this. I think the only thing really holding me back from like truly forgiving a lot of it is that it's a little too metallic on the black like they wanted to to really shine and have that sheen so while i wish i wish this would have been white they gave it more like a metallic silver design and i'm not really feeling that but otherwise yeah this guy moves <laughs> this guy still moves see so yeah, it you can punch you can twip you can do all things all things spidery so when i stand him straight up you see how he looks. Yeah, what you're gonna need is, if your joints are tight, you're definitely gonna need some silicone shock oil. 
because mine is suffering from that, those tight joints. Definitely because it probably set in customs in the cold a little too long. But yeah, I didn't realize I was out of focus that whole time. But I'm okay with that because we learned a ding or two in the meantime. So now we have Miles standing straight up and he looks pretty good. He is tiny though, very, very tiny. When you compare him to even that of an SH figure, you'll see that he's really small. I'm just gonna do it very quickly so you guys can see. And even next to the smallest of the SHF, here's Miles. Because he's, again, a 12 or 13 year old at this time. Makes perfect sense. But we're gonna talk about some other stuff, so let's do it. We are going to jump to accessories because we actually get a nice bit of stuff. You've already seen our jacket, which again, is very small. It probably won't fit on other stuff that you put it on unless it's like, I don't know, really, really tiny or like a body coon or body chine. And then we have these shorts. I don't think anything is going to fit this. You've already seen our unmasked head. Which looks great. But now we're going to see the half mass head. And I really like the sculpting on these. These look utterly fantastic. Moving away, we do have an alternate head sculpt, oh, head sculpt for the mass head. These have different eyes. More like, a, I want to say, a focused eyes. They're leaner, thinner. And then we have our unmasked mask to be held in a hand. As well as our not Jordans, Jordans, right? You'll also get a magnetized version. So you can pop and magnetize these on something. So let's find something with metal. Let's use one of my lamps as usual. And I'm pretty sure you can see that they, they hold. So yeah move this back with the normal feet though it's cool because you have magnetic sneakers you also have the magnetic webbing feet these will allow you to pretty much uh do what you just did just now now the magnet on one of mine is shifting out a little bit and i just don't think it was going to hold pretty well because well it's really really small but it does hold still so i'm not too worried about it all right with our magnetic feet, we do also get magnetic hands. So my face hasn't skimped out on magnets. While they pretty much were one of the first guys to do it, they continue to do it and kill the game. With that, I don't think too many other people are willing to take the risk with magnets in the feet. We also have our open wall crawling hands, which we get here. We have uh, thwip thwip hands, a Spider-Man staple. You will get web swinging hands. Unfortunately, they don't get you actually... Uh, Anything to web swing on. Oh, actually, no, that's wrong. That's wrong. I just dropped it earlier, but we'll get to that. You'll get your open, relaxed palms. These will also be hands that I'm pretty sure you would use for a bunch of other stuff, like jumping and cool things like that. And then you have your open action hands. These are slightly different from open wall crawling hands. The open wall crawling hands actually hold forward, like actual like wall crawling. While these ones are just a little bit more flat. You can see the hand kind of comes out and wrinkles just a little bit more. And then we saw our mask for the unmasked part from earlier. There is going to be a small, very, very small little hole there at the top. There are dedicated hands for holding the mask that peg inside the mask to hold it. That way you won't drop the mask or try to f like, you know, fiddle with it or have any problems. This will allow you to hold the mask just fine. So you can do those on masking scenes on top of a building and stuff like that. You'll also get short range web shooting. When you're first shooting out the web shooters, you will get long range web shooters. Web lines, I'm sorry. And then before that, I made my mistake because I dropped this. We have our web line from those hands that hold the webbing. So you can place it either like this or you can do it through and rotate up through the webbing. It's gonna get caught along the grooves. So just be careful, try to stick it to this end. <laughs> but yeah, this guy is tiny. This guy is fun, but it may not be for everyone. If you want a Miles Morales that is not an Into the Spider-Verse design, you may wanna to stick to your, the Mafex Guru Hiri art version, you may want to stick to your Marvel Legends version. But if your first experience is that of Miles and you don't want the Marvel Legends, this, until the Sentinel releases, will probably be your only alternative. But if you're willing to wait and do the alternative with uh, Sentinel, hey, 
be my guest. I'm personally going to get them all because I'm a, I'm a Miles fan. Got to get it all. It's not even going to be an issue for me. But let's do the size comparison because I'm trying to realize that I didn't get to any cool action shots. And you won't see that till the end of the video. So without further ado, let's take a second, jump into size comparisons. See you guys in a sec. All right, size comparison time. Can't believe I even made it this far and I didn't curse out anyone. First things first, let's compare a bunch of Miles Morales figures that I have uh, and see how they stand next to the MyFix one. First things first, we have the newly released Marvel Legends one. As you can see, if we're looking at the whole kid factor, even the Marvel Legends dwarfs over the uh, MyFix one, right? Then we have the Marvel Legends one released a long time ago. This is the other child version of him. Right in time for when he joined the Avengers. And as you can see, even he is bigger. He's bigger than this one, too. Then, just for good measure, here is the Venomized one. This one is also new. This is out of the new, uh, I want to call it basically a Carnage wave, but it's the Venom wave and Venomized-like wave. And mine is having some trouble standing. I'm not sure if it's, yep, it was a peg issue. So I should definitely warm these up from now on. But he's going to have some trouble standing due to some warped joints. Let's leave him there like that. And then, just just because I want to put it in there, here we have the adult Miles Morales from the Gwenpool arc with the Gurahiti arc. This one has a custom PS5 head from Dan's Custom CA. And as you can see, the Mafex literally is, well, the Mafex into the Spider-Verse one is the tiniest one there is. And I do mean tiny. Like, comparing it with all these other Miles, it's, it's hard to see why people will, you know, argue like oh man it's too expensive and i get it the size may not be to your liking but it is pretty accurate if you ask me but that's just my opinion let's move these guys away and now look on to what's coming up next we're gonna do some more spider people one thing i wanted to throw in was the marvel legends prowler i think these two look phenomenal together because this looks very close to that design in terms of proportions and how that was done for the movie Next up, we have a Marvel Legends Gwen. Now, I do believe she was not crazy much bigger than him, but this one might be a little off in terms of what you wanted to get. Then we have Revolve Tech Gwen. Not even gonna, well, she can stand on her own, but it's not a problem. But uh, <laughs> as you can see, she's about the same size as the Marvel Legends. So those two kind of work together. You can use these depending on how you feel about it. But I think the Prowler works definitely the best here. Next up, we're going to do uh, Peter Chubby Parker, a true hero in his own right, who fell from grace and came right back. Then we have a Spider-Ham. Then we'll use old Spider-Ham 2 as well. So we can get a, you know, we can cross over. It's it's a Spider-Verse, so it doesn't matter who's working with who. And here is a Build-A-Figure Spider. So all in all, like, I think all the Spider-Verse perks pretty okay he might look a little funky next to the uh the gwen from marvel legends she seems to be a little too much bigger than him i don't recall her being that much bigger than him but hey uh i gotta refer to my book actually on that one but i know she's bigger here we are with an sh figure arts kuga here we are with a gi joe storm shadow and as you can see uh Mars is definitely the minority in terms of size here. Here we are, the 1000 Toys Don. Here we have an Articulated Icons Ninja. He is a tiny boy. <laughs> here is a Mythic Legions Vampire. A Marvel Legends Moon Knight. And a... Mm, what can we use? Oh, here we go. You know what? We have a Mezco Batman. Let's use Batman for right now. Supreme Knight PX. So you can see what a Mezco looks like. But oh, he probably kick a lot of their butts. <laughs> I have truly enjoyed this figure. I've had a good time with it. Despite uh, some of the flaws in the midsection and the color issue, I think what you need to be looking out for is going to be those tight joints. Now, if you have an issue with tight joints before we go, what I suggest is you take some silicone shock oil, you uh, put it on a Q-tip, 
you swab a little bit inside to help with your problem here. So make sure that nothing breaks because you don't want that breakage. You really don't. That would cause a lot of issues. Um, I don't I don't want to I don't want mine to have those issues. So I'm looking at I'm like making sure I'm not worried. But yeah, the ab crunch is definitely going to be an issue for some people, because as you can see, not being able to crunch forward seems like a downer, but it makes up for it with the articulation in other areas. But that may be a, a, a focal point for people to not want to get it. But it's really going to be up to you and how you want to go about it for your Miles Morales. I really hope that people who do get it do enjoy it. And if not, I'm sorry. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoy your holidays. I hope that you've been having a great time. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it informative. As always, guys, please be good, do good, drink your water. Later.